Okay, um, this is going to be a level three problem. Um, an excellent approach for any problem where you're trying to solve angles is use the, do the easy things first. Uh, vertical angles are super easy. Vertical angles are the angles that are across from each other. So if this one's 130, this one will also be 130. If this one's 60, the one across right here will also be 60. It works just like scissors. The ones across from each other are the same. Okay, now we can do linear pairs here because these are two angles that form a line. So if this one's 130, this one has to be 50, and this one has to be 50. At this point, we've done all of our linear pairs and vertical angles, so we can't do any more of that, but we can, we can finish this problem anyway because if you see here, we've got two angles in a triangle. Triangles are three-sided polygons. Three-sided polygons, well, the number of sides is three. Three minus two is one. One times 180 is 180. Therefore, triangles always add up to 180 degrees. So this adds up to 180. 50 plus 60 is 110, so this has to be 70. If this is 70, then by vertical angles, this is 70. By linear pairs, this is 110. By linear pairs, this is 110. And now we're really close. We've just got to get these ones. So this line is parallel to this line. So I'm going to look for my corresponding angle. I've got this angle. This one here is a corresponding angle. They're in the same position in different intersections. Corresponding angles between parallel lines are congruent, so this one is 70. Once we've got that, this one's also 70 by vertical angles. And then we've got these three angles together forming a straight line. 70 plus 60 is 130, so this one that's left over is 50. And by vertical angles, this one's 50. And we're done. That's it. Quick work. Not too hard. Okay, this one here, a little harder. But again, first thing I'm thinking... Uh, vertical angles and linear pairs. So here's a 50, that means the one directly across from it is also 50. This is a 40, so this one's also 40. All right, here's a 90, so this one's also 90. And then linear pairs say that two angles that form a straight line have to add up to 180, so this is 90, this is also 90. And by vertical, this one's also 90. So we're getting really far really fast. Okay, now, if this one's 50 and this one's 40, these three angles have to add up to 180. So 50 plus 40 is 90. 180 minus 90 is 90, so this one's 90. If this is 90, then by vertical angles, this one's also 90. All right. Now, the big key is to recognize your polygons. Triangles always add up to 180. Quadrilaterals always add up to 360. You can see this is a quadrilateral. This is a triangle here. So if triangles add up to 180, 50 plus 90, is 140, so this one must be 40. If this is 40, then by vertical angles, this is 40. And by linear pairs, this is 140, and this is 140. And look at this, we have parallel lines. So corresponding angles, like this one and this one, which are corresponding, will be congruent. So this one will be 140. And by vertical, this one's 140. By linear pairs, this one's 40. And by linear pairs, this one's 40. And then there's so many ways we can solve this, but I'm going to use the quadrilateral way. Um, 40 plus 140 is 180 plus 90 is 270, 360 minus 270 is 90. By vertical angles, this one's 90. By linear pairs, this one's 90. By linear pairs or vertical angles, this one's 90. And we're done. So really, just think about this. Vertical, vertical, uh, linear, corresponding, and triangles. Those four things will help you solve just about anything. Thank you.